don't know if anyone knew that. You can press the volume to turn the do the camera. Yep. All right, so let's do eutrophication then. Like I said, it's on the screen. All right, so we start off with the farmer spraying the field, right? We know that the farmer is fertilizing the, the crop. We know that that increases yield and, and growth. So that's fine, but that's a human shaping uh, the environment. So let's use a red. Okay, oh, red and a brown, that's annoying. Let's do a different color. So this fertilizer is going on the soil, okay? going to help the plant. Great. And it comes down into the ploughed field, gets into the soil. Good. Then we get greater crop, so we are affecting biodiversity. Maybe we grow more stuff, which attracts more bees and birds and provides food, so maybe we're impacting biodiversity by providing some food. But here's the problem. When the rain falls, okay, that will cause a runoff. Now this water system, this stream in this river and this lake has got a nice balance. So within that, you have got some plants, you've got some stuff that lives on top, and you've got some stuff that lives at the bottom. And obviously you've got some little insects. And you've got some fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Okay, maybe you've got a little pike or something like that. I don't know. A little eel. Okay, so that's a freshwater ecosystem. All right, everything's in balance, no problem. So then the human comes along, fertilizes the field. Then it starts to rain. Some of that fertilizer will come down into the water system. And then there's extra fertilizer, extra nutrients in the water system. Initially, that's fine, no problem. Actually, probably a little boom time because you're going to get more... Uh, Fertilizer, so you might even get more growth, which means more food for the primary consumers because now there's more producers, there's more weed on top. But then my farmer goes, puts fertilizer on this field, and this field, and this field, and over here. Then we end up with lots in the water system. Now that might be enough to pollute and kill some things. <coughs> Dead. Okay. Maybe that's enough to kill some stuff. But here's eutrophication. Loads and loads and loads of pond weed. Loads and loads of algae on the top layer because the nutrients are great. Lots and lots of available light, lots and lots of nutrients, so lots and lots of growth. But here's the problem then, underneath. This stuff starts to die off because it's not getting the light. So the producers at the bottom start to die. The producers at the bottom are supplying oxygen to the fish. So if they start to die, there's less oxygen. Also, the decomposers that are eating this stuff, because it's decomposing, breaking down bacteria, whatever else, are producing lots of CO2. So now there's less oxygen, more CO2. This stuff starts to die. And we probably know that this stuff is going to start dying. So then we end up with a dead 
pool. Let's see what the devil. Yeah. So this now leads to a thick layer of algae on top and nothing else. So biodiversity. decreases okay most stuff dies all because of this guy and this might be miles near yeah, Sam's fault this stuff might be miles away this stuff might be a farm in the Amazon rainforest and the eutrophication may occur hundreds of miles away. So it's not always about immediate impact on your own doorstep, oh, I've ruined my own pond. It's about damaging environments elsewhere, affecting biodiversity. All right, that's that.